Hi, yeah. Welcome to today's edition of Caddy's Corner. I'm doing it so that uh, Mr. Phil's my background. <laughs> I love that. Had a very busy today, 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 day today on Friday. It was a lot of Zoom maliciousness. Um, got to celebrate my friend Rati's uh, birthday. That was exciting. I got to do a like happy hour call with some uh, friends from the old chip shop on Atlantic Avenue. That was exciting. I got to play Yahtzee with my family in Knoxville, Tennessee. So that was exciting. We did a little categories afterwards. Uh, it was a tough dice day. We weren't doing that good. Caught up with some people on the phone I haven't talked to in a while. Um, you know, it's funny, the question and answer is kind of the same. How are you doing? Eh. Like, we're all in this. It is what it is. We are where we are. Um, I had a very productive day today. Finally got to the furniture moving portion of my reorganization and I am sitting at my desk right now. So this is our new setup. I'm not going to show it all to you until I uh, get it set up, but that should be tomorrow. I'm very excited. Um, we've got some sunshine coming here in New York. It is very important to social distance. It is very important to not go out and do things you don't need to do. But going outside to exercise is important. Sunshine is important. Be smart about how you're doing it and limit your contact with other people, of course, and come back and do all of your decontamination that you have to do. But um, it's funny, my mom and I were talking about it and she was like, you know, I went from being a bartender and working out and she's like, are you doing okay? And I was like, you know, this isn't the first time I've been through this life. This stuck inside. I had a back blowout, didn't go out for that. Um, I used to have a bookkeeping firm. I worked from home for years, decades, a decade, really. Um, and it was a struggle to find balance in how to live a life. Um, and there was nothing, you know, dangerous outside, except I've suffered from the like level 10 panic attacks. So there was something dangerous outside. Everything that I got, could run into could trigger me into passing out. And um, that was real for me then. So in a weird way, I've kind of been through this before and adapting to it, it was not easy. I have had some very dark days. I'm sure they showed in these videos. I haven't rewatched them, but um, I remember when I found out that Florence Nightingale in, um, there was a lot of people in Ellis Island that were um, dying from sicknesses that they shouldn't have been dying from. And Florence Nightingale figured it out. She was like, we've got to have cross ventilation. The wind must come through. Fresh air is important and sunshine. Getting these patients out, if they can be outside, get them out into the fresh air and the sun. Um, there's something to be said for that. It's not just a old wives tale and it's important. Our mental health right now, we're at the beginning of this. Um, we have a new reality now and that is hard to accept and we're viewing it through our own filters of what our perception of reality is. And um, for some people that's gonna be easy right now and hard in three months. And for some people it's gonna be super hard right now and easy in three months. So as always, lean into the ones who are, who are, are feeling strong and doing well. Um, it's important. And find ways to take care of yourself. Um, and drop the word I can't. Again, with no pressure. You don't got to get it done tomorrow or the day after, but start a project. Start something, creating something. I say this all the time. Create, sing, dance. Join a Zumba class. I'm going to be doing chair yoga at 10 a.m. on Monday. Uh, with my mom's teacher in uh, Knoxville, Tennessee. And I can't wait. And it's really good and helpful. I got to do it a couple times when I was down there actually visiting. And I'm so excited to be doing it. My sister's doing it too. So it'll be me and my mom and my sister all in class together. Um, moving is important. I'm going to start showing you all the routines I do now that I made some floor space to actually work out of my room again. And I feel healthy enough to do it. It's important... Um, you know, it's a weird kind of chicken and egg when you're not feeling it. And do you force yourself to do it? Because then you feel better. You feel better when you're moving. You feel better when you get outside. So if you have the ability to, like, I've got a little backyard here. I could go do out and do a little bit of digging, a little bit of cutting, a little bit of prepping for spring, whatever. Like, it's I'm alone, so it's safe. 
Um, don't go to Home Depot and buy stuff you don't need or just browse things. <laughs> People who work at Home Depot are considered essential, but it doesn't mean you should just be going there to hang out because you don't want to be in your house. But that said, take the trowel you already got, the you know the saw you already got, the shovel you already got. Uh, maybe you need to pick up some mulch or something, but you know, get out and do some yard work. Dig it in the dirt, dig it in that earth, man. It's um, restorative, it's rejuvenative. So figure out what's rejuvenative for you and do it. I think I can. Remember that little engine that could going up the hill? I think I can, I think I can, I think I can, I think I can. You know, I got up the hill because he kept telling him he thought he could. So thanks for joining me in Caddyland today. The napping fill. And uh, yes, that is a sloth doing yoga on a calendar. <laughs> I love that guy. <laughs> All right. I love y'all. Be blessed. And we'll do it again when we do it. Bye.